Hello everyone, welcome to Clibit. My name is KB. Today I'm bringing you the five problems in the Windows 10. The reason why I'm doing this because a lot of people have bad user experience with the Windows 10. Uh, they switch to the another operating system like the Windows 8 or 7, but they don't want to use the Windows 10. And another reason is if Microsoft watches this video and they might fix the problem. These problems are not ordinary problems. I get this problem every day so let's start the countdown with the problems there is a few tips and tricks I will tell you then you might be able to fix some of that problems obviously the first problem is the blue screen of death sometime you have noticed or you might not have noticed it but I have noticed it like hundreds of times uh, your PC restarts and there will be the blue screen something like this as you can see on the screen your PC ran into a problem and need to restart we just collecting some error info and then we will restart for you this is the most common problem in Windows 10. I think it happens to everybody who is using the Windows 10. And do you know what is causing this problem? You have to identify yourself what is causing this problem. So uh, in my case, there is a two programs which is causing, uh, causing this problem. One is when I use the Audacity and record the audio, if it's longer, like 10 to 15 minutes, and when I try to save it, it will give me a blue screen of death. When is that problem for me? You have to identify yourself what program is you are using, then this problem is happening to you. In my case, second problem is whenever I use the hotspot apps, any apps, uh, and then I run lots of programs like the heavy programs, Google Chrome and the Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, etc. Things. If I use the lots of program with the Wi-Fi hotspot software, then it will also give me a blue screen of death. Yet I have found only these two which give me a blue screen of death. So I highly recommend you to check your system, check your apps and make sure that what is what are you running and if you get the blue screen of death, I try to identify which program is causing that. So that was the blue screen of death and let's head over to the next problem, a big problem. Sometimes you may have noticed that your PC gets super, super, super slow. Even if you check your resources in task manager, you will see all of the CPU, memory, disk and network, everything will be at low, nothing is used too much and even though your PC is really lagging, if you try to refresh your PC, something like this, it, your cursor, cursor will you know just stay waiting like you know, round and round round and round that happens to me a lot of time but i don't know what is causing that problem if your pc is right like you know if it's in normal state when you try to refresh your pc your pc will refresh within a second if it takes about three to five seconds or ten seconds that means you need to restart your pc to fix that that is the only way to fix this you have to restart your pc you might have to uh, restart your pc several times because one time you restart your pc you will get the same problem and you have to restart it again you know this is my daily experience in windows 10 like you know a lot of time when i shut down my pc and then after that open that again uh, i got this problem like you know my cursor stays on you know round and round so make sure whenever you feel very slow windows 10 then you just have to restart your pc and that will fix the problem so that was the super slow experience in windows 10 that happens every day to me i don't i don't know about you but you may also notice that if you notice just restart and there is no other way to fix this another big issue i get inside the windows 10 that is the date and time settings changed automatically after death of blue screen, I mean, uh, after you get the blue screen, check your time. The time may be not correct because every time I get the blue screen of death, my time automatically changes. So fix that. to fix that, you have to manually fix that, you know, go to the time and date setting and change the time again or just turn off the automatic update and then turn on that and it will fix the problem. This issue really gave me a headache, you know, I have lots of things to do and I keep every single, you know, work in my schedule. But, you know, because of the out of time 
and date uh, you know i i have lost many things like many events and etc things so microsoft has to fix this i even contacted to the microsoft they did fix it but after i also one more time you know uh, after that i got the blue screen and then uh, again that problem is happening to me so i don't see if there is uh, any way to fix this another problem is modern apps are not running well you know why people go back to the windows 8 or 7 because you know they got experience bad experience with the modern apps maybe other uh, modern settings and etc things they are not that well one is sometimes it's dark completely and sometime not sometime uh, for example i'm I, as you can see here i have opened the instagram and it doesn't refresh sometime not only sometime i think it's been two or three days it is not refreshing in my phone i'm getting notification and etc things everything but inside the windows 10 we are not getting the notification etc things so this is a really bad experience with the modern apps that is some reason that's why some people left the windows 10 and go back to the 7 or 8 main thing is the network connectivity you don't get the full networks no i'm not saying in all of the modern apps but few of them like the instagram for example i'm using the instagram and i don't get the full internet access inside this and the modern app doesn't feel like you know desktop app or it doesn't feel like that fast as the desktop you know it's just completely different so they have to merge everything into one like you know uh, make it you know little smoother faster and look like a pc not the phone even if it feels like phone but it has to work like fine perfect this is not a big issue but yeah if they can improve it the users will be using the windows 10 more than any other another operating system and the last problem is also a very major you know for example if you use a lot of apps for an hour or you don't open or you don't click on start menu of the windows 10 for an hour two hours or half an hour sometimes it's even 10 minutes after a long time you click on the start menu or search menu then it will not open up you know you have to restart your pc to open the start menu again so after long time not using the start menu or search bar then it will not open up so we just have to restart and then after that we have to use this issue is really headache when you are using some important work and you have to do it faster but your start menu is not working something like that so it is really a really big issue and headache so these are the five major problems i get every day inside the windows 10 and i don't want to switch back to the 8 or 7 i will still use the windows 10 reason i'm doing this as i already told you that if microsoft sees this video watches this video then they might be able to fix this and i'm not against the windows 10 i'm a windows 10 user and i will be always be using the windows 10 i just want to you know share the experience windows 10 experience with you guys and the microsoft so they might be able to fix it and i really like the windows 10 but there are a few problems which give me a really headache and the issues are not normal they are really a big issue so they need to fix if you don't have a windows 10 i will put link in the description for to download the windows 10 for free so you go there and get the windows 10 and uh, start using it if even if you get the any bad experience and etc things problems contact microsoft or give them a feedback that you are getting that problem so they will fix that and you will have a better user experience you know if you want to use the windows pc or windows 10 you know we have to use it and after that using it we have to give a feedback and you know i we have to help them to make it better so that's all guys these are the problems inside the windows 10 that but don't worry they are uh, they can be fixed and uh, you know just help the windows 10 developers so they can make it better and as i already told you that i'm not against the windows 10 i'm also a windows 10 user a regular i don't have any another operating system to use i don't use the windows 8 i completely hate the windows 8 because there is no start menu and i don't use the windows 7 because i don't feel like i have to use it because you know it is the older system and i want to try the newer operating system 
I will put link in the description to download the Windows 10 for free. Go there and check this out. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and FM. Bye bye.